Hey guys, Felipe here with another haircut video. I wanted to make this video only because it's uh, an Asian hair. Asian hair are usually a little tricky and I've gotten used to uh, cutting Asian hair quite a bit uh, now. So uh, what we're doing here is a high skin fade and we're trimming up top a little bit with some texture. To start off, I always do with the number two guard. Here I'm using my magic clips, setting my foundation to help me create that fade to help me blend from the number two to a skin. It also helps me to, uh, transi uh, to blend the transition hair to the top hair. So once I finish with the number two guard, I set my first guy line here. Um, well, technically my second guy line with my triple zeros. So since it is a high skin fade, I am setting the guy line about an inch or an inch and a half above his ears. I like to use the ears as a guideline to set the, the line. Remember, setting the line is not something you need to make perfect. However, you need to, you know, it's, it's good to kind of set it somewhat even on, on both sides. Once I set the first guy line with the triple zeros, I come over with my slimline pros, uh, your, your, your trimmers, get rid of all those hairs. They, they do cut a little bit shorter than triple zeros, so that does create another layer of transition. As you see here on the back of uh, the head, the line is not completely straight, which is okay. Um, we are going to blend everything out, so that line is going to disappear. Using the five star shavers, I go ahead and add yet another transition layer. The five star shavers will bring down to the uh, to the bare skin, and so that adds another transition to to the face. So after I complete all those all those uh, steps, I go ahead with my half guard, which is uh, I open the blade which is equivalent to a 0.5. So I set another uh, guy line and then I close the blade halfway or a little bit more than halfway or sometimes even I close it all the way. It, it all depends on the, on the hair to get rid of that line. So here I create the guy line, remove the guy line. Here I'm just working on that line, opening and closing the lever. You know, every hair is different. Every type of head is shaped differently. So it's not set in stone that you have to just close the blade halfway. You know, it's, you have to play it by ear. After I set that guy line and remove that line, I go ahead and uh, use my number one guard with the blade open. Like I did before, I repeat the same process. I make a guy line, close the blade, remove the guy line. I do this all around the head. Here with my half guard, with the actual half guard. The half guard is really like a detail guard for me. I like to use the, the half guard just to uh, detail everything out. Usually my number one guard will knock down that line that I created with the blade open. And so here, there's a slight little shadow going on over there. And so I'm using the uh, the half guard to, to pretty much buffer everything out, make sure everything looks, looks beautiful and clean. <laughs> Once I do that, um, here I have the actual one and a half guard with the blade uh, open and then I close it to blend a little bit better. And then I take the number three guard. We did a number two in the, in the beginning. Here with the number three guard, I just pass it along just to uh, see if I can knock down anything. Once my clipper work is done here with my shears, you know, Asian hair likes to stick out. Not as much on this client specifically, but for the most part they do. With Asian hair, I like to ask my clients if they like the hair straight up or have the hair following the head shape. Here he wanted to uh, have something in between, so uh, a little bit of uh, the square shape, but also not too exaggerated. So with my shears and then freehanding with the clippers, I go ahead and do that. Now, 
just a little trim on the top. As I said in the beginning, I'm not taking much length off the top. It's just a small little trim. And then I am gonna come over with, with my other shear and create that texture. I'm using that texturizing technique that I like to do. I'm just gliding the blade along chunks of hair. And then take my thinning shears, slightly just go over it on the tips of the hair. Now it's just a matter of us styling hair. Here I'm blow drying the hair a little bit. We're uh, gonna we're gonna flip the front up with a little bit of texture. So using my hands and, and that brush, and then here applying some product. This is uh, a matte little a matte product. And when we're done, guys, we are finito. Here using a blade, you know, to uh, shape everything up and make everything sharp and beautiful. Um, get that arch pop a little bit. This is the haircut. I really enjoyed doing this haircut. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, stay up and stay tuned. Peace.